So our next presenter is a very familiar face, Mike Lashardi. He's an accomplished sous, sous vide cook, presenter and cookbook contributor, as well as the co-founder and CEO of the ISVA. He has helped organize more than a dozen sous vide conferences, including all four annual sous vide summits, which draw hundreds of attendees, speakers, and chefs from around the world. When he's not organizing international events, he's usually in the kitchen preparing meals for his wife to enjoy and two children to refuse to eat. He still has a tender spot in his heart for his first Sancerre sous vide machine that started him on this journey. And he has never met an animal he wouldn't like to eat. I'm betting emu is included in that. <laughs> Today, he'll be showing us how he prepares. Okay, I went, we went back and forth on if I was gonna attempt the French pronunciation and I'm gonna do it. Cuisse de Grandoui, in other words, the French classic frog legs with sous vide. Please welcome Mike. So when I think about French cuisine, a whole lot of dishes come to mind, but one of the most interesting that I can think of is frog legs. First time I had these was on a cruise ship as probably a 14 or 15 year old. And uh, I've always been into eating interesting things and tried them and uh, really, really enjoyed them. Um, one of the benefits of doing these sous vide is that they're so thin that they can overcook in a hurry. Uh, typically, they're going to be sautéed with garlic, uh, butter, and white wine, um, or you're going to uh, bread and fry them, and they overcook just so quickly. So with the sous vide, uh, we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to show you two very simple preparations. Uh, we're going to be cooking these at 140 Fahrenheit for about an hour, then we're going to chill them down. And then we're going to finish them with a couple different preparations. So you can see here are my frog legs. They're already cleaned and separated into just kind of their individual pairs. Uh, you can find these online in a lot of places. I bought these at Blackwing Meats, uh, but they're also available at uh, some specialty fishmongers and uh, seafood retailers. Uh, we were just in Pensacola and we found them at Joe Patty's just hanging out. So um, all I'm going to do is hit these just with a little bit of kosher salt, keep it really simple. And then we're gonna put these in a bag. We're gonna cook them sous vide at 140 Fahrenheit for uh, an hour. We're gonna chill them down in a nice bath. And then I'll be back to show you uh, how we're gonna finish them off. Okay, so now while the frog cooks, we're gonna make our sauce grabiche, which is a French sauce that uses a hard boiled egg uh, as the base. So I've got the egg yolks from one egg. I cooked this at 194 uh, for about 20 minutes and then I chilled it down. That's my perfect hard boiled egg temperature. And we're gonna just mash these yolks very lightly in here. And we're gonna start by making a little emulsion. So uh, we're gonna mix in about a teaspoon or so of Dijon. Should do it. So we'll get that all combined with the egg yolks. There we go. So that's starting to look creamy. And then what we're going to do is we've got some olive oil here. We're going to just very slowly drizzle this in a little at a time. All right, once we've got that incorporated, we're going to add about a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. There we go. And then we're going to fold in the chopped egg whites. And it's really important to mince these really fine. You don't want big chunks in here. And we've also got a cornichon and some capers that we've minced up. And then uh, just some mixed herbs. So I have some parsley and some tarragon here. If you have chervil uh, available, that would fit in this nicely. We're going to just mix that in and we're going to kind of gently just fold all this together to incorporate. And once all that's in there, we're going to hit it with a little salt, some pepper, There we have our sauce grabiche. We're gonna let this hang out in the fridge until we're ready to serve it with our frog legs. All right, so now we're gonna finish our first preparation of the frog legs. This is a very classic method. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of color on them, and then we are going to just make a garlic and white wine reduction, 
uh, very quickly on the stove top. So we cook these at 140 for an hour. We chill them in an ice bath and uh, they're coming straight cold out of the fridge. We haven't re-thermed them at all uh, because they're so thin, they're gonna heat back up uh, you know, very quickly in this process. So you'll notice I'm using a non-stick pan and part of that is because these things are so fragile that uh, when you put them in a little oil, they have a tendency to want to stick to the stainless steel and I don't want them to fall apart on us. So we're gonna just go uh, really quickly and carefully in the nonstick pan and uh, see how this turns out. So let's go ahead and drop a couple of them in here. All right, pull those out. Now we're gonna go into the pan with some finely minced shallot. We're gonna sweat this a little bit. All right, add a few cloves of garlic. Don't be shy here. Just give that 20 to 30 seconds. If you notice any little bits of the protein from the frog that have kind of coagulated, very easy to pull those out as we're doing this. Okay, after about 30 seconds, we're going to come in with our white wine, about half a cup. We're going to let this cook until the alcohol smell is dissipated and it's reduced by about a half. And once it looks like it's reduced, we're going to add in just a little bit of lemon juice. Turn down our heat. I'm going to toss in a tablespoon of butter or so and melt that right into our sauce. I'm going to toss a little bit of parsley in here just to hold on to some of that nice reduction because I want this to be a little thick when it goes on. I'm going to stir that in. And then we're going to just pour that right on over our frog's legs. All right, here we have our first preparation, the sous vide frog's legs with that white wine and garlic sauce. We'll be right back with the second one. All right, so now we're going to finish up our frog leg prep number two. So I've got a little bit of just all-purpose flour here, I've got a couple eggs beaten with just a little bit of water, and then some panko breadcrumbs. I'm using the probe control mode on the control freak. So I've got about a quarter inch of uh, canola oil in the pan and the probe's just sitting in that oil and it's holding the temp at 375 degrees. So that's gonna help us just make sure uh, that it stays there and we don't have to pay as much attention to monitoring the heat as we're frying these up. So um, again, these were cooked at 140 for an hour and I pulled them just straight out of the fridge uh, after we chilled them down so they haven't been rethermed at all. All we're going to do is just go into the flour. And the egg. You want to be gentle with these because they are soft, they're tender. We don't want them to fall apart in this process. And then we're going to just go into the panko. Go ahead and make sure we get a nice coating on there. All right, now that they're all breaded into the oil, we're gonna do just a couple at a time. Be careful. If 
not going to take long, maybe 30, 40 seconds per side. To move them around a little bit just to make sure they don't stick on the bottom. And once they come out, it's going to hit them with a little bit of kosher salt while they're still hot. All right, we'll be back in just one second and I'll show you how we plate these up. So, here we have our two finished dishes. We have the sous vide frog legs with the white wine and garlic herb reduction. Then we have our crispy panko crusted frog's legs with sauce grabiche. And these are how I would serve these up kind of family style if we were doing, say, a Super Bowl party this weekend. Um, but I hope you enjoy these recipes. Again, these are just my take on a very popular French ingredient. Uh, and preparation and uh, I really hope you enjoy these in the rest of the showcase. So fun. I love that we're seeing different types of meat than we would typically see today. Frog legs are obviously very common in France. I st I'm like trying to think because I have had the opportunity to go to Paris, but um, I don't think I had frog legs while I was there. And now I really want to try them. Uh, my husband's put, been pushing it for years. I'm going to tell him that Mike finally convinced me. And both of those sauces were really interesting. So I feel like the dual preparation would be something that I would need to do when I do this myself as well. 